Hey everybody, so today let's talk about making talismans. Oh, well, not talismans really. Making like laymans for, you know, wearing them during ritual. They hang around your neck and they're specific towards angels or deities that you're working with during invocations. A lot of them are done by hand and many people don't have art skills. Like, let's be honest, I'm not the greatest artist either. If it weren't for computers, I would be horrible. Unless it's like abstract. Pretty cool with abstract. But I'm not good with like doing ultra fine detail. So what I did with thanks to help with the computers is I made templates. And as you can see with these, they're outlines. They're not a finished layman or talisman. They're just outlines to it. So what this will allow you to do is create, this is an experiment by the way, I would like to get feedback on how you guys interact with these and how these work. I'm working through the different planetary energies right now with them as well, so I can provide feedback in the future. But right now, they are um, an experiment. So the idea is you'll take a, you know, a felt tip pen, or a, um, you know, a calligraphy pen. I got a calligraphy set over here. And you can go through and you can work in the details. Now, the idea is that when you're making a layman or a talisman, it is for... It's an invocation process in its own. It's a creation right in its own. You're invoking the entity that's labeled here. So it needs to be done in a solemn practice. So what I'm going to show you isn't something that I would typically do because I'm recording a video. I, I can't get into my, my meditative state and start doing the talisman. But So what I would typically do is I would, you know, look, we're going to do... Anel, since we are, it's Friday. Um, what I would typically do is I'd start to meditate. I would do, be in a meditative state for a minute. And then I would start to lay out the characters, like the celestial alphabet here. I'd start to go through. And I would just make the characters while thinking about this deity the attributes of the deity what they stand for what they can help you with who is this deity and what is their purpose I would try different techniques of filling in I would try different paths of doing it. Might even try different pins. And I would just sit here and... Oh, see that's what I'd be doing if I didn't have these lines. And I would be filling this out. This is the idea. So that when you're done, you have a quasi decent talisman. And I'm kind of rushing because I'm recording and I don't want to waste your all's time while recording or while doing this. So I'm just trying to do it quickly and that's what I do I do the whole process and then you know from the outside names something you might be able might do is you might vibrate them so Eloise. while you go through and do it right you're invoking the essence into the talisman into the layman. And I'd go through and I'd do all of these. And this is something I would do pre-ritual. 
because you need these for the ritual. During the ritual, they'll get consecrated, and that's when the true magic gets imbued in them. But you are, in an essence, creating the, the talisman, layman, however you want to use this, while you're creating it. And that's the, the point of this is it's not a functioning talisman while you're doing it. Your actions of tracing and creating the names and thinking of the names and the angel or deity that you're invoking, that's what is being utilized in the creation process. That's what's giving the magic to this talisman. Just merely printing this out and putting it around your neck isn't going to do what you need to do. You need to take the time to trace through everything, and that's why I outlined them, as for this to be a template. This is a canvas that you work your magic in, and you imbue the magic. The ink is the magic, you know, or not the ink's not the magic, but the ink is the transference from your thoughts and your energies and the outside magic into the talisman layman. So I've done them for all seven planets. And I've even done it one for a bulk or a, a blank where you can utilize this how you wish. You can make your own layman with the, the god names on the outside and experiment and work with it as well. So these are, these are available on my Etsy store if you wanted to check it out. All this work helps support me doing more of these projects and me bringing these to you in even greater detail and even greater, you know, quantities. So if you appreciate this and you like it, check it out on my Etsy store. Link's going to be in the description. And if you like this planetary series that I'm working, um, you know, you can follow along and work through it as well with the the seven spheres by rufus opus that's what i'm actually my current system i'm working right now um kind of fell in love with it that's what i'm working through if you like some of the equipment for that book i made this as well this is the table of practice that you can get on the etsy store if you wanted um, the digital downloads also on there so you can actually make your own if you're into that it's very similar to this where it's a it's a vector though where you can make it and like basically create the wood and then trace things on and, and use it how you wish, right? So that's the seven talismans, planetary laymans, for the um, planets. You know, the Olympic spirits and, or excuse me, these aren't the Olympic spirits, these are the angels of the planets. Um, but um, I appreciate everything you guys do and... I know I've been using talisman and layman, lamin, however you want to pronounce it, and you know universally here in this video, and that's because I think personally you can use these as a talisman. It's how you use it is how it's defined. If you put it around your neck as the invocation source of who you're trying to call, that becomes a layman, a lamin. Um, if you're trying to, you know, use it as a talisman to work magic within talismanic magic, then it's a talisman because you're not going to have it around your neck. You're not going to use it in the invocation process. It is sitting on your altar as a source of energy as a talisman. So how you use it defines the word. All right. Thank you very much.